Um, all right, so here it is, my multi-touch table. As you can see, uh, there's a projector. There's an IR camera. There's the mirror for it uh, to project up onto the screen. Um, now right now, as you'll see in a minute, uh, the image is kind of small, and that's because the projector is too close. Um, I am going to mount the projector up there, but the mirror that I have is too small uh, to capture the whole image at that distance. So uh, I'm getting my new mirror in next week. Uh, you also see those bright lights. Uh, those are IR LED illuminators. Uh, the naked eye, actually, those are nothing. I don't see those. Uh, it's only the camera that is seeing those because they're IR. Um, and those are what's filling up the box with IR light so that when I touch the surface, the IR light reflects off of my fingers and the camera sees it. So, uh, in order for the image to be projected, I have over here two uh, pieces of acrylic. Well, first, you know what, let me... I had the projector turned off because it's very bright and you can't see all the other stuff with it on. So, uh, the projector is going to turn on. It takes it just a minute to warm up. So while it's doing that, I am going to grab this, and this is the rear projection surface of my of my display. There you go, the projector's on. You couldn't have seen the camera if it was on because it just there's a bright spot there. But all right, um, there we go. That's the rear projection surface. As you can see, there is my uh, my desktop. Uh, that was just me closing the side, gave a little poof of air, so blew it up. Um, so yeah, that's my desktop, that's my computer. And this other layer of acrylic over here is uh, just a protective layer. Uh, that bottom layer scratches easily. So I'm going to put a layer over the top of it, chemical mar resistant so you can clean it and keep it all nice and clean. There we go. Uh, so now to the fun stuff. Uh, so, this right here is the software that uh, manages the touch screen. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna have to remove the background so it doesn't take that into consideration, but then you'll see the source image up here, as you can see there, it sees my hand. Well, sort of. Let me turn that off, clear the background again. All right, so as you can see, it sees my hand. Now, as I touch the screen, because of the way I have it set up, you see these white spots over here on this side? Those are the blobs. And that is what the tracking software that I am running picks up and sees as the mouse. So uh, the first thing you actually have to do is calibrate it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, it helps if I have the window selected. So you hit C and you go into calibration mode. Um, kind of see my light reflecting off of that there, um, but that's all right. So you go into calibrate, and it's going to put red circles on each of these dots, and you just have to push it until it turns white. Now. What's interesting is, you know, right now, obviously, it doesn't know where my finger is. If I touch somewhere else, it's going to start filling up that circle. That's why, you know, we have to calibrate it, obviously, so that it knows where you're touching.
All right, we are all calibrated up. So now you'll see, as I touch the screen, it knows right where my finger is. Um, what you also can't see right now is that it's sending those signals to an interface called TUIO, which is then being picked up by a mouse driver. So as I touch the screen and move, see the cursor's there. And now it's up there. The cursor moves with my finger as well. Uh, to better demonstrate that, you'll see here, uh, since it's under my finger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch. And I touch a second time, and that's like clicking. So you see the blue square, like I'm selecting something there. Because I'm now clicking and dragging with two fingers. So, um, now the ultimate uh, desired effect of this is for me to play Dungeons & Dragons. So this is the software that I use to do that with. Um, it's called Map Tool. And give me one second here. And it's called Map Tool. And what's really great about it is the dynamic lighting. And this is the whole reason why I wanted to do this. So as you see, the players can only see what their tokens could see. Um, and as you move them, uh, still needs a little bit of fine tuning, but I don't want to mess with that too much until I get the big mirror. So um, as you'll see here, when I select a character and then click and drag, I move him. So as I move him, he can now see more. And that's, that's the whole, whole purpose. It's the whole reason I got this table. It was just to be able to do that. So I don't have to have a whole map down and they can see everywhere they're supposed to go. Uh, also, if there's hidden monsters, you know, I can hide them if something is invisible. If they can no longer see an area, they move away from it, um, it becomes grayed out. So if any monsters or anything moved around in there, they wouldn't know about it. So I don't have to keep track of as much as a DM behind the scenes. Um, I can just have it there on the table on my screen. Um, and keep track of where everything is a lot easier. So uh, there you go. That's it. That is a multi-touch table. And there's my computer that is powering it. With a whole mess of cords going right into it. Um, I built a door on the side of it here. So it just lifts up for easy access to get in there if I need to uh, change anything. Again, you can see the camera, the projector, the IR lights, and everything. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching, guys.